Hi everybody, Claudia here with Healthy Preparedness. In this video, I want to talk about diatomaceous earth. What is diatomaceous earth? How can it be used? And why would it be a beneficial thing for us to store in our home storage? So basically, diatomaceous earth is tiny microscopic fossilized shells. Um, these fossilized shells are algae and phytoplankton that, phytoplankton that have built up over time. This phytoplankton, these algae substances, are mined and turned into a fine powder. And this powder looks similar to bentonite clay, yet it's lighter, it's fluffier. If you were to take a little sprinkle of bentonite clay and place that on your tongue, and then compare that to a little sprinkle of diatomaceous earth on your tongue, the diatomaceous earth would be a bit gritty. And the reason why that is, is because on a microscopic scale, we can see that each little diatomaceous particle, diatomaceous earth particle, it's a small cylinder and it has really sharp edges. And these sharp edges um, create an abrasive action, especially when taken internally. So it's a great cleanser for the digestive system. It sounds harsh, but it's not as harsh as it sounds. Some people compare the, um, the sharpness of these particles to diamonds. Diamonds are on a scale of one to 10, are at a nine, and the sharpness of diatomaceous earth is at a seven but it's so tiny and microscopic that um, it's not tearing apart our intestines from the inside out. It's just, it has just a gentle abrasive action. Um, so to take it, it's good to know that diatomaceous earth is also, um, just like bentonite clay is, it's also, and activated charcoal, it is also a negatively charged substance. Anytime there's a negatively charged substance, it is attracted to a positively charged substance. Positively charged substances are those pathogens. They're the viruses, bacteria, things like candida, even some heavy metals. Um, those are things that when taking the diatomaceous earth internally, um, those toxins, those, um, those poisons, so to speak, they are attracted to the diatomaceous earth. And then um, it's said that these, that these toxic substances are then trapped in the cylindrical shape and then they are passed out of our body through our bowel movements. So it is a great detoxifying agent to help get rid of some heavy metals, to help get rid of some viruses, bacteria. Um, it's just a great way to clean the digestive system. Um, just like with bentonite clay, it, is also, it also contains minerals, trace minerals, and silica. Silica is great for just building bones, uh, having strong, healthy teeth, and it's great for any areas in our body that contains cartilage. simply by taking one teaspoon, stir it into water, swallow that down, and then follow it up with another teaspoon, another cup of water. Um, it's that simple. Usually people take it about three times a day. So three, one to three glasses a day. Um, there may be some die off happening, meaning that a healing reaction is taking place. You may feel a headache. Um, just start slow is always the best advice if you wanna take this to help detoxify your body and help cleanse out your digestive system. So there are other great reasons why to store diatomaceous earth. One of them being that it is great for our food storage grains. It's a way to preserve them. When adding a bit of diatomaceous earth in with our grains, instead of using oxygen packets, it not only helps preserve the grains by making sure that mold doesn't grow there because it helps take away any extra moisture that may be in there, but it also keeps weevils and um, beetles away, bugs away. So I do have a video about that and I show how I go about doing that. Um, it's always best to wear a mask because this is really powdery and it wouldn't be good to get into the lungs. It would be just really irritating to the lungs. The reason why I use diatomaceous earth instead of oxygen packets is because I want to make sure that my grains can sprout. And sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, I'd say about half the time, when we're using oxygen packets, it can render our grains unsproutable. And that to me is a problem. I love ha knowing that I have the ability to sprout my grains. That just is so valuable to me. So I choose to use the diatomaceous earth to store my grains instead of the oxygen packets. Another great reason why having diatomaceous earth would be beneficial is because of bugs. 
Those tiny microscopic cylindrical sharp edges have the ability to scrape away the hour later, the outer layer of bugs and they basically dehydrate to death. Sometimes it takes about seven days for it to take effect, but it's a way to protect our garden beds. It's a way to get rid of bed bugs. It's a way to get rid of fleas. Um, I'll have links underneath this video that shows how to use it for bed bugs and for gardens. These are videos that other people had created. And so we at least get that, that idea in our head. So we have our diatomaceous earth and we remember, oh yeah, that is how we get rid of bed bugs. That's how we get rid of garden bugs. Um, it's a great thing to have on hand. So where do we get diatomaceous earth? Um, the best thing that I found is to get it in bulk. Get a 25 pound bag. Usually you can get 25 pound bag for about $25, so about a dollar per pound. Alpine Food Storage is a place that sells diatomaceous earth in those large quantities. There are other places online as well. And one very important thing to make sure, especially if you're planning on taking diatomaceous earth internally, is to make sure that it's food grade. Um, there's industrial grade diatomaceous earth and food grade diatomaceous earth and you just want to make sure it's food grade diatomaceous earth. So um, I will have a link to the Alpine food storage and maybe a couple other links that I find online underneath the videos so you can go and purchase it from there. Um, but those are the main reasons why I really like having it on hand. Um, one, to help us detox, especially, and I didn't even mention this earlier, but especially from parasites. I just really feel like in a disaster situation, especially a prolonged disaster situation, parasites are going to be a problem. I mean, anything digestive related, there's so many issues that will more than likely be coming up. And diatomaceous earth is such an effective way to treat parasites. So, you know, I talked about how it has that gentle, mild, but yet very effective abrasive action that goes through the, through the digestive system um, that cleans away um, just things like viruses or bad bacteria or even candida. But then I also talked about how diatomaceous earth um, can kill bugs. Well, it can kill the bugs inside, inside our digestive system as it's doing that gentle abrasive action and help carry those out of our system. If I know that somebody has parasites, I would treat them for months at least. Parasites can be pretty tricky to get rid of, especially if it's a chronic condition because they're constantly laying eggs, the legs, eggs are dormant. Um, this helps break up the outer layer of the eggs, it helps break up the um, outer layer of the parasites and kills them, helps carry them out of the system. It's pretty amazing stuff. So, um, so for bugs, for detoxifying, for preserving our grains, um, to protect our gardens, the food in our gardens. It's just a great thing to have on hand. Hopefully you're seeing a little bit of that as well. So I have another video coming that I'm actually recording right after this one where I compare diatomaceous earth to bentonite clay and to activated charcoal because they're all pretty similar. So how are they similar? How are they different? And when would be the best time to use these substances and in what circumstances? I've created a PDF file that explains that, that shows, you know, with my experience having used all three, um, which ones would I use for what circumstances? So that video is coming up next, but hopefully in this video you've learned a bit about diatomaceous earth and why that would be beneficial during a disaster situation. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.